Hello fellow crafters. I just want to bring you a quick tutorial today um, on some font tricks that I think might help you out. So don't you hate it when you're in Cricut Design Space and you find this really cute script font that you want to, that you want to use on a project? You type it in and this is what it does to it. Well, I did post another tutorial showing how you can fix this. But I do want to show you today how you can not even run into this problem at all. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I am in Inkscape right here. It is a free uh, program that a lot of crafters are using. And so I'm going to show you how you can type your text in Inkscape. Um, script fonts come out looking perfect like they're supposed to. And uh, then you can convert them into an SVG to use in Cricut Design Space. So the first thing we do is come over here to where this little A is, and I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to pick my font. If I know what font I'm using, I can just click on the box and start typing it in, and then I can pick it out. And then you just click on your screen and start typing. And you can see here already that it looks like it's supposed to, okay? Um, before you resize anything, make sure you lock your um, proportions by clicking on that. And then you can resize this so that way you can play with it a little bit. So, again, I told you I'm going to show you a couple things. Well, this first thing is how I'm going to take this. I just typed it. Well, now I want to go ahead and make it into an SVG. So, I'm going to come up here to Path. And I'm going to do an Object to Path or you can hit shift control c i'm a keyboard person so that's what i do so i do shift control c nothing looks different and that's okay then we need to ungroup it so you can go to object and you can hit ungroup or over here on your side menu this little circle and square that are separating uh, into different colors well then you can ungroup or you can be like me and use your keyboard shortcut which is control shift g so now you can see I have all my little pieces. Then you want to kind of weld your, your stuff together. So you can go up to Path, and you can hit Union, and that puts them together. Or, again, I'm a keyboard person. I hit Control++. Plus plus. And now I have what, you know, what I can save as an SVG that would load up into Cricut Design Space with absolutely no problems. You can see here it's uh, it's got its paths, um, so that way it'll cut out my font for me. Well, let's say that I have some problems cutting this out. And these lines here, they're kind of thin, and they're giving me some problems. So, as a little bonus, I'm going to show you how you can quickly thicken any font that you have, even if you don't have a bold option on that font. The first thing that I do is you can see I'm zoomed in at 267% down here in the bottom right corner. If you'll follow my mouse, I'm at 267%. Well, if I try to do something zoomed in this far, it's going to have a big impact on my design. So, and I'll show you that here in just a second. So what I always do is I zoom way out to like 2 or 3 or 5%, um, and then I enlarge my design. And that way, whenever I'm, I'm making little tweaks and stuff to that, they're just that. They're little tweaks. They don't have as big of an impact on um, my total design, so I'm able to fine-tune what I'm trying to do. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to duplicate this so I can show you on one, and then I'll show you on the other. So to thicken a font, you're going to do what's called an outset. Uh, so up here in the path, you can see outset. Excuse me. Or, because again, I'm a keyboard person, I use control and then the close parentheses symbol. So I'm just going to click that one time. And that's what happens. Well, that's not what I want, right? So I'm going to show you, and again, I'm zoomed in at 267%. My image is about 3 inches by 1 inch. So now I'm going to show you what happens when I zoom out. To zoom out, you can just hit your minus key. Um, or you can come down here and manually do it, but I just hit my minus key, and I'm watching down here until I get to like around 5 or so. Then, because my proportion ratio is locked, I can just drag a corner and make this bigger. So, 
Now here I've got my text that I want to thicken. Uh, I'm zoomed out. I've got this thing at 312, almost 313 inches. I'm in inches here. Uh, if I was in pixels, that's like 30,000 pixels. Um, but I typically do everything in inches. So now I'm going to do that same outset one time. And you can barely see. Look, I'm going to undo that. So if you'll look at the screen real close, I'm going to redo it. And you can see it's just, just a little bit of a difference. So I can do as many outsets as I want until I get the font as thick as I want it to be. So I've done one. There's another one. Hold on. Helps if I click it. There's two, three, four. And the reason you don't see me do anything is I'm using my keyboard. I'm holding down the control and then the close parenthesis. So let's say I'm happy with it there. Well, I've just hit four outsets versus the one that I did a minute ago. So when I get ready to save it, I'm going to go ahead and shrink this back down. Move it back over here. Hold on. I forgot to turn that off. And zoom back in. So you can see the difference between doing one outset zoomed in and doing four outsets when I have zoomed out and enlarged my design. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. And then to make sure that this is saves as an SVG, just go up here to File, Save As. And then you just type in what you want it to be. And you can save it as an Inkscape SVG or a plain SVG. The only difference here is that an Inkscape SVG, it saves some of your metadata and stuff that a plain SVG um, doesn't but both work and upload perfectly into Cricut Design Space. So anyway, I hope that this tutorial has helped you learn how you can type your script font perfectly um, and then upload it into Cricut Design Space, or how you can thicken your font so that way you're not having to, uh, to ha you know, mess with trying to weed out or cut those super thin lines. Uh, if this video helped you, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Um, and I will continue to bring you more tutorials um, as, I, as I can. Thanks, guys, and have a great day. Happy crafting.